Hi, Chris with Tommy Toothpaste Toys here and welcome to another car boot haul video. So I went to a couple of car boots this last weekend and I also went to Great Yarmouth Comic Con which was pretty awesome. Um, really great for kids, um, loads of stuff to do, loads of people dressed up, got some really cool photos. It was really awesome and I also got to um, meet Mark Silk who does the voice of Scooby-Doo and Shaggy which was really awesome. So. But anyway, let's get on with the car boots because we've got some really cool bits. So I got this Jacob's Cream Crackers apron. Um, really nice. I think it was an anniversary one. I'm not entirely sure, but there's no label saying a date on it. But really cool. And I got that from my mother-in-law. She bought that from the charity shop. That was pretty awesome. Then I got this cool mask lunchbox really nice the only thing that's going is that clip has gone um, and I'm not entirely sure that is the one from the original lunchbox but really cool always great to find a blue bird lunchbox really nice um, got this cool little Jurassic World sort of like red t-rex <clears throat> I got a little chocobo, really nice. Not sure whether to keep him yet. Um, really nice looking with a little wizard hat. Get all the soft stuff done first. I got this awesome My Neighbor Totoro. Really nice, it's like a bag, really cool. It's got a great little detail there of the zip. Little Totoro. And I've got a couple of mini Totoros as well, if I can find the other one, here they are. Oh, try not to. Got these two tiny little ones, a little blue and a pink one as well. They're pretty cool. I got this crazy early learning centre figure. I found him pretty nuts. Let's zoom in there so you can see a bit more detail. Really crazy looking, really weird some of these early learning centre figures. I find them another one as well yeah just find them pretty crazy got this cool 1989 batman mug really nice still in great condition collar roll really cool i got this knockoff godzilla Let's zoom back out about seven inches tall eight inches tall really nice looking though just says made in china on the bottom but really nice looking Always good to find a bit of Godzilla. Um, this random guy, I'm not entirely sure where he's from. Um, it's got some detail on the back that it says Made Iman Popular de Juguets. So I'm not entirely sure where this is from. If anybody has any information on that, where this is from, it just seemed like it could be old so I decided to pick him up only got some trousers on though so a bit of a shame but I got this really cool t-shirt which I will be keeping I saw it and made an absolute beeline for it um, I know it's not that old but it's really awesome um, it's cool Space Jam Toon Squad t-shirt um, I don't own any orange t-shirts so it's not really my colour but really awesome absolutely love it and it's in really good condition so I will definitely be keeping that um, got two Ed the Duck um, plates plastic plates for those of you who don't know who Ed the Duck is it was from CBBC or B BBC um, when it used to come home from school and it used to be on actual BBC one these are from 1981 so pretty old really awesome so they're pretty cool um, right, let's get through some of the figures because I've got a few bits here as well. I got this cool Megazord, uh, part of a Megazord. Um, I've forgotten the one it's actually from, um, Power Rangers, but it's pretty awesome. And it's got some of its legs and all that. There is other parts to it, but that was pretty cool. Um, I got this Ghostbusters Quasimodo. Really nice, complete with his chain. So really nice and his action still works which is great always good to get a bit of vintage ghostbusters 
also got the Ecto-1 back door. Um, and then I did overhear the lady say that she, when I found loads of these little bits, because I got a few more accessories, um, like the proton packs and stuff like that, she, I don't think she realised they were there because she had, I think I heard that she had previously sold it to someone else. Um, loads of the bits, and obviously I assume she sold the Ecto-1 and was gutted that the door wasn't there, so I assume she sold it at a bit of a lost for her. But yeah, got this proton pack, the green one. It is a bit chewed up at the end, as they do normally get, but the rest is in good condition. I got this Donatello belt, and the vintage one, really cool as well. And then I got this random thing. I can't actually remember what this is from, but I feel like I recognize it. I think it sits on someone's shoulder like that. I really can't remember what it's from. Um, I recognize it. Anybody know, please drop me a comment down below. I then got for my daughter, because she, um, she's going to start having some of the Scooby-Doo figures, so I'm getting her loads of the baddies. I got this ghost um, for 50p, which is a great find, because I've already got one of the ghosts, because I really like the look of it, so I'm glad I got another one so she can play with it. I got this thing, which is really odd, because it really looks like a chap may tiger like the one I've got which is over there behind but um I don't know if it actually is um and it's got this cool little harness so I might see if this one fits on my one because my one is stamped with Chapman and this one isn't and it doesn't feel right it feels quite um light whereas this harness is pretty cool so I might try to get him on it if it does fit that'd be really cool to have on there I got uh, this figure, Power Rangers figure, I've totally forgotten, I think this is a Ninja Storm figure, but he does kind of alright. This little chap May Safari guy, picked him up and I thought perfect for my collection, I got a few bits of chap May, and again some of the cool bits of detail, but I'll talk more about this guy on my chap May video. Ah, this is the other crazy early learning centre figure, I mean absolutely mental, what the hell is going on here I'm sure I've got it in my head that early learning center is for little kids but correct me if I'm wrong but that doesn't look like that's for little kids so like I mean really young kids maybe I'm just completely wrong and early learning center is for all different ages um, but yeah I've got a few more bits I've got this really cool glow in the dark uh, ghost from Ghostbusters as well I got this cool monster in my pocket for my own collection generation 2 really cool I don't have that one and then I got this random little dinosaur, and it was just amongst all the Ghostbusters stuff, so I thought it looked odd, so picked it up. It might be worth nothing, and it might not be anything, but I couldn't see a date or a stamp on it, so does anybody know anything about this little guy? Really intrigues me. It's quite heavy, he's not really PVC feeling, he feels a bit more solid than that. And then... Um, loads of chat May, I got this awesome bundle of stuff here in this bag. Um, and it was £4 for the lot, and there were so many accessories, I was like, I have to have it. Um, I won't get them all out, because I don't want to lose some of the bits, but I've got some cool figures. So I've got this guy. I've got this cool, tiny little guy, which I really like. I mean, if you look at the size of me, sort of imagine X size. He is great, and he's got all his apron here, and the... Let's zoom in a bit. Make it a look. Look at that. Isn't he cool? Really awesome. Um... Random little dinosaur. I don't have that one. Got like a more of a pterodactyl sort of guy. I've got this cool safari guy who I've had in the past and I've always wanted him back because I think he's great. And there he is. This guy is awesome. He's got his knife. Um, I've got another one of him. I've got this diver guy who I think I've got, but I've got so many accessories here as well. I've got like a cage. Little crocodile, which is pretty cool. Sorry about all the rustling. This cool little crocodile in the cage, really like this as well. So I've got some really cool bits. Um, my Chapmay collection is getting absolutely pretty huge now, so really awesome. And then the final item I got, um, I actually got not from a car boot. It was from Great Yarmouth Comic Con. And there was a stall there and there was these guys. And um, this, there's two parts to this story. So I saw this guy, which I really wanted because I previously got, let me make a bit of room got him which was that guy without the heads this awesome dragon 
But now I finally got him with the head. Better condition as well, not missing his finger, less wear to the head. And check out this detail. This guy is so epic. The wings move. So cool. Look at those horns and the detail there. I mean, this is absolutely incredible. I've wanted this guy for ages and there was a few different color ones. But I finally got this guy, so now I can pull this one out and put my one there. I mean, he looks absolutely awesome next to that massive mammoth. Really awesome. If you haven't seen that mammoth before, check out the video. Link is on the screen now. Um, but yeah, the second part of this story is on that same stall, this guy had loads of stuff, and the prices weren't that cheap and all that. And it is at a Comic-Con, so it's basically a convention, so, you know, it's like, you expect it. But then, he had these cars, and I collect them, and we picked them up from a charity shop my wife did a few years back, and she got them dirt cheap. And it's these little ones, and they are the Monster 500 die-cast cars. Um, they are so great. And I've got a few of them. I've got this guy, and this guy, and, a f and about three others. But, basically, um, here, here's, here's the other ones. He had another two that I needed. I needed. He had a Wolfman and another one. The Wolfman, the tyres were slightly out as well. I said, how much for these? For the ones I picked up, the other two. Bearing in mind, I got these for like 50p, and I know that's pretty cheap. He goes, oh, and then one of the guys said, 50 quid each. And I was like, and I sort of like chuckled and all that, and sort of thought, oh, okay. And I looked at the other guy who was the guy's stuff it was, and he said, no, but not far off, 30 quid each. And I thought, well, that's weird. I didn't think they were that expensive. Um, so I passed on them because it would have been 60 quid for the two. Um, I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I got home, checked it all out, looked these things up. And they don't go for anywhere near that price. So I was very confused. Even in their packaging, I've seen people pick up bundles for about 60 quid of the whole collection in their packaging which is like 12 or 10 of them, so very confused. So, my question for this video is, have you ever had this one? Are they worth that? And I'm a complete, am I completely way off, but all the prices I'm seeing online, on eBay and on other sites, are nowhere near that. So, this guy was either trying to rip me off, or he completely didn't have a clue, but the fact they were both saying these prices, I don't know if they just didn't want me to buy them. Very confused by it. I don't want to bad mouth them, you know. I'm not saying, like, as if they were trying to rip me off. I'm just very confused by the whole thing. So my question is, have you ever had this sort of experience where someone said a price so crazy? And have you ever called them up on it? Because I didn't. Because I didn't have the full knowledge. I knew the price of these a couple of years ago. I thought maybe I was completely, you know, maybe something had completely changed. So I was really excited to come home and look at my ones where they worth loads of money. No, they're not. So yeah, that's my question. Have you ever had this issue before? And if so, how did you deal with it? Did you call them up on it? Did you ask them? What did they say to it? Really intrigued to find out if you've had any of these issues before. Thank you very much for watching. That is everything. Um, check out all my social media down below. Please like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Thank you very much for watching till the end. Check out any one of these two videos. And I'll see you next week.